Today, I'm going to be building a giant iron golem farm, and I'm going to be trying to make millions of dollars from it. And also, along with that, I'm going to be expanding my normal farm, as well as off camera. We got a ton of progress because, like, I was just playing a ton of Skyblock instead of actually, like, editing like I was supposed to. I've just been playing it since it has released, which at least yesterday at, like, 1 p.m., and I've literally been playing, like, nonstop. The only time I stopped playing was to edit a video. Honestly, I probably need to go touch some grass, but we need to get some more progress anyway. Right now, off camera, we did get this mining robot thing set up. There is a lot more efficient way to do it but i just don't have like the efficient way because you can have like a really tall tower and you can have them like stacked on top of each other but right now i've been saving up all these chests full of ores and i'm gonna see how much money we can get also i separated some diamond ores so we're gonna see how much money we can get from a double chest of diamond ore so i'm gonna go to my pv1 and i'm gonna get my infinite cell wand out so these chests over here they don't have like all the best stuff in it they mostly have cobblestone and iron but i'm gonna be selling it so 42,000. we're getting around 40,000 per chest so that's pretty good just leaving it afk we probably just got like a few hundred thousand from that but now we have the chest full of diamond ore so we should get a lot more from this so a full chest of diamond ore we're gonna sell it right now and we got a hundred and three thousand in the second one we got ninety two thousand okay these ones are full with emerald Let's see what we get from the emeralds. Okay, so we got a little bit more from the emeralds. We got 120,000, but the diamonds was 103,000, so. But to get these iron golem spawners, I'm gonna be having to make like a lot of money. And I think to get that money, I'm gonna go over to the mine because this is like the most efficient way of getting money for me right now because I'm making like thousands of dollars every second. So this is probably gonna be how I get the money to get the iron golems. Right now, I have $7.6 million. But if I do slash shop right now, the iron golem spawners, they cost 1.7 million each. So I could probably only buy like four or five right now. So obviously that's not very many and we're going to need like a lot more than that. But also if I go back to my island, we can check our farms right here. They, they're not very efficient. Like these zombie pigments, I could have a big like I could have a platform up here and then I could build really high and I could make them drop down to their death. Also, if I press F3, press G, we can see the chunks so we can make it in the middle of a chunk. Obviously, this isn't like perfectly in the middle of a chunk. So I'm probably going to be making a new farm. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. I'm going to do that and I will be right back in a second when I get that completed. Okay, so I've been building these farms for a while and I got three farms built so far. I got the grinder farm, which is literally just the blazes and the enderman. And then the second one, it's above the blazes, but this one, I tried to recreate something I saw on a different island, but it's not really working so well. I saw people, they had the spawners all the way up here and then they had the, like the different mobs that had dropped down here. And then you put a chunk hopper right there and all this stuff goes right there. But I tried to do it. Like I thought just using this chunk hopper would like bring all this stuff down here, but I don't really know how to like work this. So if anybody wants to help me, like, I'm not sure how to work that, but I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and try my iron golem farm. I think that's going to be a lot better because obviously this is not working out too well and it's not really getting me like any money at all. So I think I'm just going to go work towards the iron golem farm right now. Let's check if there's any IGs. There's no IGs on the auction house right now, but I think the only way I can get them right now is through crates or I can buy them on slash shop, but they're pretty expensive. They're 1.75 million each. I think I'm just going to have to go to the mine. I'm going to have to mine for quite a bit just to get some iron golem spawners but i want to try to get my farm started just so i can start making a little bit of money while i'm afk i think i'm just going to try to like look at someone else's iron golem farm and just try to like copy it maybe so i'll come back if i see an iron golem farm that i want to like try to replicate so i'll be right back in one second okay one real quick thing i want to tell you i have these mining robots set up and they like are afking and they give me gems while afk and also they give me xp while afk so i have a lot of xp and gems saved up so i'm gonna claim all this right now i'm at level 107 and right now i have like basically zero gems so i'm gonna claim all these from all 12 robots like let's just go ahead and claim the first one we got 1900 gems from that and we got quite a few levels but i'm gonna go ahead and claim all of these from all the robots and i'll be right back when i got them all claimed okay so i redeemed all those and i in total got 18 actually i forgot one more there we go we just got 900 more from that but we have over 18,000 gems now and i think i'm just gonna go ahead and reinvest it all right back into the mining robots so right now i'm gonna try to get all of them to level four it's gonna cost quite a bit but we're gonna upgrade all of them that i can i don't think i'll be able to get all of them to four but I'll be able to get most of them to level four, but this is going to be really good. I'm going to be making a lot more gems. I need to get some more mining robots, to be honest. This is a really good investment to get gems fast. So far, I have nine of them at level 10, and we still have 5k left, so we can get one. We might be able to get all of them. Okay, we're just off. We literally have, we're like 300 off of getting all of them maxed out, but we did get level 150 on our, just our levels, like on our bar right here. We got 150, so that's like a lot of XP. Also, let me go ahead and re real quickly just sell all this stuff. We got a lot more money now, too. That sold for a lot of money, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut back to whenever I get that iron golem farm I just wanted to quickly talk about this uh, mining robot farm Okay, so I just got back from one of the top islands and I just got told like how to make a 
really good iron golem farm. So it's not even that complicated. Like you don't have to have something like this. All you have to do is have an auto cell chest. And then you have to have a chunk hopper. So you just shift right click. There we go. And then you're going to go to the shop and you want to buy some iron golem spawners. And then I'm just going to buy as many as I can. I can only right now buy four because I'm kind of broke right now. There we go. Let's just go ahead and place four of them down though. And then I want to go to my PV and then I want to get my spire scroll out. And so whenever they spawn, I'm going to put the spire scroll right there and they should start taking damage. Yeah, they started to take damage whenever they spawn. Obviously, this one's not because he's like brand new. I can't kill him with just like my sword or anything. He only dies by lava. Okay, but if I go ahead and check my auto sell chest, it automatically sells every five seconds. So I'm just making like free money. Like obviously right now it's not too much. Like I've only made like $320 because that's just because like I only just now got it unlocked. But you can also upgrade the fire scroll. If I do slash scrolls, I can go ahead and I can click it right in here. And then actually it's already maxed out. Never mind. I think it's just the other scrolls that you can max out maybe. So I just probably need to get some more scrolls to be honest. Because he said I need to get like all the scrolls to make it as efficient as possible right now i only have the fire scroll i mean it's good enough but it's not like perfect yeah i'm just gonna let this afk and hopefully i get quite a bit of money and i think i'm just gonna go to the mine real quick and just mine for like quite a long time and i'll come back and see how much money i have so i will be right back okay so i just want to do a little update so far i've been mining for like probably like 15 minutes or so and i've got probably like 800k but we also have some of these starlight crates to open so i'm just gonna go ahead and open these by the way right now i wasn't afking because like i don't have a extra account right now but i'll probably get an extra account online to afk that just so i can see how much money i'm making but let's just go ahead and open these crates from these crates hopefully we get some more robots because robots are saving to be pretty op right now okay let's see what we get okay we got a villager spawner that's actually very good we got some zombie pigment spawners as well and some blaze spawners yo these blaze spawners are going to be really helpful for our public farm because i'm going to be making a public farm pretty soon right now we got a total of 27 blaze spawners and for zombie pigment spawners, I have them all the way up here. So, and right now I have eight of those and we just got eight more. So now we have 16 of those total, but I'm just going to go ahead and open the last two star forge crates. Here we go. What we're hoping from these, honestly, probably the robot eggs is probably the best thing right now. But we, oh, we actually got two holy pet eggs. That can be pretty good depending on what I get. But let's just go ahead and open them. Right now I want them like a mythical excavator pet. That'd be really good. But let's go ahead and see what we get. And we're going to get the excavator pet. But what rarity? Please be a good one. Oh, it's rare again. That's not too good to be honest. And let's go ahead and open the second one. And from this one, we're going to get another excavator pet. Let's see what rarity is. And it's another rare one. I got very unfortunate on that. Not very lucky, but I could probably go ahead and share this with my island members just so they can start getting like get more money from mining also with this villager spawner probably gonna try to get another one of those fire things it's the fire scrolls i need to just go ahead and if i do slash shop i can go ahead and check the gym shop and yeah they have them for 5,000 gems each so i'll probably save up for a little bit more gems i probably have some gems saved up from those mining robots over there but i'm just gonna go ahead and open this last starlight crate and we got some more spawners and keys and the final reward is going to be a outlander vk shard that's actually pretty good and we got some more blaze spawners i'm not gonna go ahead and place those down right now but let's go ahead and see if we unlock this speak it forever or if it's just one time use hopefully it's forever i'd be very happy if it is and it's just one time use rest in peace so we got a normal pet egg which we're going to get hopefully some good from this we got a money pet that's actually probably really good you get a five percent money boost i'll probably be using that later on and from the last starlight crate let's see what we get it looks like we just got some more keys spawners and the final reward is three mining robots that's actually huge I'm very happy that we got that i'm gonna spawn three more there we go so now in total we have 16 i'm gonna get these set up real quick so i'm just gonna be right back whenever i get all those set up okay so i got all these mining robots set up and i leveled most of them up to level four except this very last one which is only a level three so all my robots are at level four except for obviously that one but we should be making a ton more gems right now and a ton more xp as well right now we're at level 168 so we're like pretty set for levels we probably won't need those for a quite a long time now but yeah i'm just gonna go back to the mine also like oh i got six million dollars from opening those crates that's actually quite a bit of money so i'm gonna go ahead and buy some more iron golem spawners we can buy like four more i think actually no we can only buy three more sadly there we go we got three more though and let's just go ahead and place these so now we should have seven iron Golem spawners. I'm gonna go ahead and get a alt account to AFK right here just so we can see how much we're getting while we're AFK. I'm probably gonna go mine for like another like 30 minutes or so and just see how much money we can get. But yeah, I will be right back whenever I mine for like maybe 30 minutes or maybe a little bit longer. So I will see you guys in a second. As you can see in the top left of my screen, it says it's 6 p.m. So I'm gonna go AFK for one hour and then I'm gonna see how much I get in one hour. And I just claimed that so we have two million and I can get one more spawner so I can make it an even 10. And I'm gonna buy the last iron golem spawner that I need and it's gonna give me 10. So here we go. Now we have 10 iron golem spawners and I have my uh, alt account right now AFKing it and I'm going to be back at 7 p.m. my time. Right now it is 6 p.m. my time. So it's going to be exactly one hour and I'm going to see how much we're making in one hour. Hopefully
hopefully none of my island members collect it. That would kind of suck because it would ruin it, but we'll just go ahead and cut back in one hour and see how much we've made. So I will be right back. Okay, so it's been exactly one hour now, and so far we've made just a little bit over $213,000. That's how much we've made so far, and it's been just over an hour. So that is really good, and if you times that by eight, so like while you're sleeping, that is $1.6 million just while you're sleeping, and that's only with 10. If you get a whole entire stack, which honestly wouldn't take me too long, probably, probably I could get that in one day, then you'd be looking at like probably closer to 10 million every day, like overnight. And then if you're also AFKing it during the day, like you could just get a ton of money and you could just like keep reinvesting into the iron golems, just get as many as possible and just get as much money as possible. So yeah, this is something that I'm gonna be keeping working on. I'm also gonna go over here. I'm gonna go claim some more gems because if I get 10,000 gems, I can get some more, uh, I can get another scroll. So I'm gonna claim all these guys real quick and I will come back and see if I have 10K gems. Okay, so we have over 10,000 gems, but I'm also gonna upgrade this dude to level four. So they're all level four now and they each break the block in two clicks like one two and then the blocks broken so yeah it's going really fast right now and these chests are filling up really fast let me actually go ahead and get my cell wand out we got our infinite cell wand and let's just go ahead and sell all this stuff so we're making we're probably making closer to a million dollars an hour with this thing too so if you count this plus the iron golem I'm, I'm making quite a bit just like being afk if i just leave some accounts afk i can make a lot of money but yeah right now we're at two million dollars so i can actually afford another iron golem spawner but right now I think I want to try to get my melon farm because we just got completed with the carrots. So if I do slash perks, actually it's IS mastery. So right now we need to mine 10,000 melon. We just got completed with the carrots. But after melons is another warts, which will be pretty easy hopefully, but melons is going to be kind of hard because they take a little bit longer to mine. But yeah, the nether wart should be easy. And then obviously the sugar cane. Whenever I get to sugar cane, you have to mine 250,000 sugar cane to get to cactus. So it's going to take quite a long time to get to cactus. But when I get cactus, I'm going to make a huge farm. It's going to be really OP. Also, we're almost about to get 200k value which is going to make us be able to expand our island so i'm going to go ahead and open my keys real quick i do have quite a bit of cloud keys saved up for mining we have over a whole entire stack but let's go ahead and see if we can get some more of these the block tickets are really what's going to help us okay we got a storm key that's decent and then we got like four block tickets so that's really good okay let's go ahead and open the rest here there we go we got 45 more all we really need from these is the block tickets we got four more from that now i'm going to go ahead and open all these block tickets we have eight block tickets here so i'm just going to open all those and we got this should be getting us really close to 200,000. Yeah, we're definitely getting to 200,000 because we got a hay block, which is worth 10,000. And I did it wrong. There we go. Now we're going to be worth $200,000. And that means our island's going to upgrade. So it's going to be able to be bigger. Just whenever our island value updates, I think it probably updates like once every 10 or 15 minutes. But we'll be able to have a bigger island. And I'm going to start on the melon farm along with hopefully some of my other island members that are going to help me with it. And I'll let you guys know whenever I get started on the melon farm. So far, we have this huge dirt. Like, it's kind of like a base plate. This took hours to make. Like, it looks not that impressive, but it took so long to like place all this dirt. But now we're starting on actually making the melon farm, which is starting with this apparently. I've never actually made a melon farm, so I'm kind of letting Pizza Farage take over. He's going to be making the melon farm probably. But I'm just going to cut back to whenever I get the melon farm started. Okay, so right now this is what our melon farm is looking like. We got it set up pretty good right now. And if I go to my PV1, I think I have an axe that auto destroys everything. If you just do slash shop, you can auto destroy melons. If you go to tool shop, it only costs 25000 You just have to buy this diamond axe right here and then it like if you just click this it auto destroys it so yeah this is a really good way to get melons destroyed fast but we need to get 10,000 so we're probably just going to extend it the whole entire way i'm probably going to do that off camera because i don't want to do the whole thing on camera because it can take like many many hours but yeah pretty much this is what we're going to be working on for like quite a long time because 10,000 melons is not going to be easy to get mined that is it for this episode we got a ton of progress in this episode and we got our melons farm started and pretty soon we'll be able to get sugarcane hopefully once again sugarcane is like the best thing on the server apparently other than and maybe cactus because you can get automatic cactus farms but, but we'll see what happens when we get that all unlocked thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye